creating an elaborate drag number from start to finish, part 15. And today we are back to work adding spikes to our Statue of Liberty crown. Before I add the next two spikes, I'm gonna add some reinforcement beams across here and the same thing on the other side. Measure, snip, bend, ow. Bend, place, lock, repeat thrice, and done. Reinforce with electrical tape. And now to add a spike with our pre-cut candy canes following the pattern of the first one. added. Time to lock the base down with tape. Base secured. Now we are going to straighten out these um, metal rods to the best of our ability. Done. Now to bundle the front, middle, and back rows to each other. Floop, floopity, floop, floop. Like so. And now we bundle these bundles together into a slinky of wonder. Like this. Secure it with tape. And voila! Two spikes have we sitting on top of my head in a relatively sturdy fashion. And now we do the same thing on this side. And other side, done. Now now, I don't know if you could see this, but there is a middle wire here where the middle two spikes of each spike is attached and it ends right here. So I think what I'm going to do is add a wire right here so I can continue the pattern that I started. Something like this. And same on the other side. I don't need to tape this down. It's pretty secure as is. And now we shall give a go adding the fourth and fifth spike. Secure down with tape. And fourth spike added. Onto the fifth. And these are attached to the base, um, and that's where we stop for the day. Quick demo of what it is looking like so far. It's coming along nicely. In fact, we're almost done. Um, tomorrow we might even finish with the basic crown design. This still, of course, has to be incorporated into a wig. It has to be bedazzled. There will be fabric added to it, jewels, beads, color, all those things. But uh, we're almost done with the skeleton. So, until next time.